The Food Business Investment Scheme provides capital funding for primary producers of agricultural products in processing activities, helping to improve performance and competitiveness. My name's Scott Davis. I'm the owner and founder of Hilltop Honey. We're based here in Newtown, Mid Wales, and we are producers and packers of the finest honey you can buy. Manai Oysters and Mussels is a shellfish farming company. We uh, don't farm in the traditional sense in that we provide food and shelter for our livestock, but what we actually do is we allow the shellfish to grow as they would in nature, but we put them in a, in a way that's more convenient for us to harvest and to farm. The Food Business Investment Scheme has helped us uh, over double our workforce in the last 12 months, which has been vital for the local rural economy here in Newtown, Mid Wales. It's added a further £200,000 to the local economy and we're forecasting to employ another 20 people by 2020. Uh, the Co-Ine have been very supportive over the years to me. I mean, it, it's not just purely about a financial thing there, but obviously I've, I've been able to speak to people in Co-Ine and about market issues. If there's inquiries into whales for shellfish, oysters especially, uh, it usually comes through Coine. The fund has helped us deal with the people like Tesco, Sainsbury's, Holland Barrett, Ocado. We now have just recently signed a deal with Morrison's to supply them nationwide. So I have a, a London market for the oysters. It's predominantly where all the oysters go. It's nice to know that produce from here is able to compete and successfully compete with anywhere else in the UK. It's vitally important I believe to the Welsh economy that the Welsh government looks outside of Cardiff and into rural Wales. Powys is a great county to operate a business in and a great place to live and the more they can generate wealth within rural Wales the better. The Menai Strait is special because it's, it's unique. I mean, it, it is a body of water that has a fast-moving tidal current over it, but it remains sheltered. The future for Hilltop Honey looks very bright. Um, the premises we bought with a Welsh Government grant has future-proofed us, so we have space for another line. We can also upgrade the production capacity from 10,000 jars a day to 70,000 jars a day. My latest initiative is um, to combine tourism with, with the actual shellfish. I mean, I, I'm opening a caravan and campsite called the Oyster Farm. The Rural Development Programme is a great scheme. There's no, there's no question about it. The rural Wales needs help and support. It's a great place to run a business, but without doubt, you need support to grow. If you wanted to try a new avenue and you find it quite difficult to, to raise the funds there to, to get you just on that start board, just to, just to get onto that, that, that route, then this is where the rural development will actually help.